Try to beat the train! We can make it! Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yeah, just don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. No way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. If he goes with it. You'd see all of Little Italy burn. From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of time that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and a half are simply too powerful, too deep-rooted to simply be swept away. The more established of these organizations are consolidating their power. The competition between them continues to bring violence and bloodshed into the public square. We saw this at Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci family are now, in many cases, highly sophisticated, well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cop is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to exploit police and lawmakers. That, sadly, doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants... I need some help. The guy downtown going way too fast. Look out for him. So that, frankly, does not wash. Plenty of... Boulder. Thank you, sir. Eh, kind of shifty looking, isn't he?
That'll be good for the beers tonight. Don't let me see you do that again, huh? Got Check it. it issued. Go back to your patrols. <laughs> Delina Vodka has been produced in Krakow for more than 250 years. In that time, very little has changed in the production process. It's still triple distilled and filtered ten times. Well, what is it they say? If it ain't broke. Vodka Delina Premium Vodka. That's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, <laughs> oh, no, no. Which it was carried out 
have led some to speculate that Gilati was the latest public servant to become a victim of the epidemic of mob violence currently assailing the city. The killing marks another chapter in the tragic story of the Gilati family. Only three years ago, the counselor's son, Billy, was murdered in an act of senseless, unprovoked violence. His killers were never brought to justice. The chief of police insists that several avenues of investigation are still being explored to ensure justice does not escape the family once again. But without results, this journalist simply has to wonder. What is... Tara, you okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Out of here! Get it!
It's doing kill that motherfucker. Take it every guy we got, got down over here. here. He's coming this way. Every guy we got down here now! Hey! He's coming hey. this way! Over here! I have his attention! You don't get to leave! You know that! He's going down! Get on his side!
Coming this Follow way! Follow my lead, boy! Coming this way! Over here!
What do I pay you for? He's tearing the docks apart! You're mine! Train?
money? I can get you money. You kill me, my brother will destroy everything you know. Come on. You just winked me, asshole. You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed, and not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salieri and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. You boys doing all right? Yeah, just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, these guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. you think that white suit would make him an easier target. Him. 
Chase him down, Tom! The dot will hang us out to dry! When I get close, shoot for the cars protecting him. Let's get him out of the picture. You got it. Got cops on us. Bunch of them were staked out around the theater. Last time they get paid off by Morello, tomorrow they're ours. His guys are out in force! Take him out if you can, but Morello's the prize tonight! Come on, fellas! We're taking this city over! If we lose him, we'll go to ground for months. More, maybe. Don't let him give us a slip. He could be headed anywhere. If we don't catch him and plug him, he might even move out of state for a while. We need to whack him tonight. shake us off in the back streets. I know this city better than anyone. Don't worry. all the way. Bumper to bumper with him? Well, wherever he's going, he's going there in a hurry. It's the airstrip. He's gonna go through the back. He's got a plane? Of course he's got a goddamn plane. There'll be more guys waiting. Good! We need to clean house! He's gotta die? This guy's gotta die! Okay, but let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. Muscle waiting. I see him. Oh shit! God damn it! You uh, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, just a bit of glass in my hair. <laughs> Nothing a cheap comb can't fix. Then we go after him on foot. Come on! There's no 
trenches. Are we even making a dent? It's no good. Okay, now the other. Throw them both. This isn't gonna work. It has to work. He's in a fucking plane. Cannon, let me shoot. He's not out of here yet. I'm taking the wheel. Why? Cause I'm the guy that drives. And now we got a plane to catch. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in all guns blazing and we finish them off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look guy uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. He'll land maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Is it gonna go? Yep. Wow. But you drive like this in your old job. Yeah. It's going. But we don't have time to relax. We gotta be sure he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that. Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. But no. You don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have love. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. or something? See you on the other side, Marku. Any trouble? No, boss. No trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. 
I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. OK, boss. Good. Now, we got to talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull the third eye. OK. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view, up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements, and only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. 
the appalling situation our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no final champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against Griff stepping back on the field in our time of peace. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Beringer family and Beringer's Department Store. Beringer's Department Store and Hank Turnbull leading the way for a brighter future. Vote Turnbull for governor. Hey, fella. Come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Paid me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey! Get out of here! We ain't going nowhere! Turn around! Someone's coming from No. Well, you ain't one of us. I'm warning you, You're Mister. Come here. Can't you people just leave us be? Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. <laughs> Someone's coming true. Guard tower. It's uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. Trouble. 
Where's the guard tower? You'll find it. You always do. You're already dead, aren't you? You're not welcome.
been out. I came from up here! Chief said he was declared dead at the scene.
Detain everyone you see! The police! It's the police! We'll only come back, bastards!
Attention to women on the street. Thank you. Stolen car on Central Island. Please respond. Make sure that he only has eyes for one woman with a visit to Behringer's Cosmetics Department.
Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. Says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> 